Should I just hold on to the chair? I don't think they can see the, the chair. Just turn you on. Chad Hughes here from xdadevelopers.com, xdatv, and today we're going to do a ROM rundown of the Samsung Fascinates Dark Revenge 4.0 ROM. First off, on the Does It Work list, we have Wi-Fi, GPS camera, data, Bluetooth, and MMS all working. The MMS is actually a bit fast, but that may just be my experience with the ROM, or a placebo effect because I enjoy it so much. Most of the TouchWiz modded ROMs come stacked with everything working right out of the box, figuratively speaking of course, so you usually don't have anything to worry about unless they try to throw in some AOSP features here and there. Other than that, you pretty much get everything working. Next up is the theme and ROM combination. The cyan bread theme with Dark Revenge 4.0 is a fabulous combination, sporting cyan colors with gingerbread icons, also sporting a significantly thinner black notification bar as opposed to the ugly gray one your Samsung Galaxy device usually comes shipped with. Cyan bread also themes the keyboard, as well as the text messaging and stock gingerbread launcher. I'll be using this theme throughout the rundown. Well, for the ROM specific features, right off the bat you're going to notice a speed increase. The EB01 Voodoo and Non Voodoo kernel are right smack in the middle of the forum post for you to download, and both kernels provide stability and battery life while not sacrificing any speed. This along with the combination of the actually, you know, factory resetting of your phone before installing this with Clockwork Nod should ensure you have a great time while using this well put together ROM. Remember. Flashing ROMs is not just a cut and dry process. Always factory reset and make sure you wipe your Dalvik and other things to ensure that the ROM runs perfectly. Another thing you'll notice before you change the theme is the HTC Sense look you'll get from using this ROM stock as it comes. It supports the HTC wallpaper as well as the whole HTC framework look. If you've ever wanted to run Sense on a Galaxy S for one reason or another, Dark Revenge minus the cyan bread theme will be exactly what you're looking for. Part of the reason I changed themes was so I didn't spoil the amazing look of the HTC Sense theme on the device. It's really a sight to behold. And not to mention it's built off the HTC Droid Incredibles latest stock image. We call them Roos on XDA developers or, or the Roo. It's, it's a Roo. Other notable features of this ROM include S-Brisson's 5 lock screens, status bar clock options, answer mod, power toggles, and more. The notification pull down is minimal but sleek looking. I did find it's a little off with responsiveness, but maybe that could be a result of almost anything, so let's not hold that against the ROM, guys. There are also custom fonts, a hack camera button mod, and a debinged browser. Sorry, Microsoft. Sidebar though, I happen to love Windows Phone 7 devices. Damn, they're sexy. I mean it. This week's honorable mention, themes. Samsung Galaxy phones don't have many ROMs, but they have themes for days and days and days. Be sure to check them out, especially Cyan Bread. It's basically all she wrote, folks. Be prepared for some desired HD and HD2 goodness as I move over to those next.